So what do these games have in common? It's the jingle, sparkle, shiny bulbs that pop out and scatter everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the loot box. Ooh! Loot systems have been a staple of many video game designs over the years, and are a great way to keep players engaged with your game separate from the core content, such as story or gameplay. A loot system is simply the specific method you use to provide players with in-game items. Games like RPGs, whether light or heavy, often make the use of consumable and non-consumable items. While players can usually get items in a systematic way by, for example, earning gold or buying a specific item from an in-game shop, loot systems tend to have an element of randomness to them. A loot box is one way a loot system can package loot to give to its players. When you pop open a loot box in a game, you're presented with a number of items that are the result of a random selection within a particular range, usually related to rarity. Technically, the monsters that you kill in, let's say, Neo are just walking loot boxes, but in this case, we're talking about literal boxes in games that are filled with loot. Loot boxes can be very compelling, some might say even addictive. The promise of a premium loot box can keep gamers playing and sometimes paying long past where their interest would have been held otherwise. But why is this? Why do we like loot boxes so much? To find the answer, we have to look at another kind of box. This box is called the Skinner Box, and is named for pioneering psychologist B.F. Skinner. Skinner was one of the founding thinkers in the field of psychology known as behaviorism, and the Skinner Box was a tool he used to demonstrate the conditioning of animals to do specific things in response to rewards or punishments. Pigeons and rats have been trained using Skinner Boxes to do all sorts of things. When they do what the researcher wants, the box rewards them with food. When they do something wrong, the box can punish them with heat or a mild electric shock. It's no different from training your dogs to do tricks. When your dog gets it right, you give them a treat. Eventually, it'll do the trick automatically as soon as you give the command that goes with it. Now, I hate to break it to you, but humans are somewhat animals too. We're probably the smartest animals on Earth, but we're still affected by the same rules of reward, punishment, and behavior. That's why punishment and reward are integral parts of game design. When you do the right thing in a game, you are rewarded. The rewards can come in the forms of things like level progression, high scores, and yes, better in-game items. You see, your brain doesn't know the difference between real and virtual rewards. You get the same jolt of tasty and pleasurable brain chemicals from both real and virtual achievements. That's one of the reasons that's been put forward for the popularity of gaming. It lets people experience the pleasure of accomplishment and reward in a predictable way. In real life, there's no guarantee you'll get that feeling on the regular, or at all. It's a need that games can fulfill up to a point. Loot boxes are designed to be finely tuned digital dopamine delivery systems. The various elements of their design combine several principles about how we think to keep us grinding and keep us coming back. They share a lot of principles with other similar systems such as slot machines or randomized trading card booster packs. So let's get over some of the design features of loot boxes that make them work. Have you ever wondered why you have to actually open a loot box? Like, when you receive a loot box in a game, it doesn't just pop open automatically. You have to take a step of unlocking it to make it reveal its content. That's not an accident. You see, it turns out that the anticipation of a reward is just as important, if not more so, than receiving the reward. If I just showed up at your house, handed you a GIF and said, this is for you, you'd be surprised and probably happy. But since you didn't know I was going to give you something, you never had a chance to get hyped up. Now if I told you that I'm coming back next week to give you a present, then you have a lot of time to think about that reward you're going to get. You get to experience pleasure by just anticipating getting something. Before you pop open that loot box, you also get to anticipate a reward. The opening itself feels good regardless of what you actually get. It's also what helps drive the grind in games. The pleasure of anticipation keeps us on track, even if we don't actually like what we're doing right now. There are dedicated brain circuits to regulate this anticipation to keep us on task. Why are loot boxes so decorative? Why do they sparkle and animate? Why do they make sounds and all sorts of other flashy things? Well, for one thing, we like things that are interesting, but a more relevant reason is that these things grab our attention and help us establish cue for our reward. We associate the gold sparks in the whole song and dance with the pleasure of the reward. Giving it a special whoop whoop reinforces what's happening as a memorable and special reward. 
you know what, try this. In the next couple of seconds, I'm gonna show you a clip of me opening up a loot box. If you don't have headphones on already, I want you to put some headphones on and pause this video just before the box pops open and close your eyes. Then hit the play button and listen to the sound. Think about how does it make you feel. Do you get a jolt of excitement? And does it just feel good just to hear it? Let me know what happens in the comments below. The design itself of loot boxes are not good or bad. They're just a tool that you can use to engage, motivate, and provide pleasure to players. Obviously, some people have taken things too far, and companies are too often more than willing to let them do so. But for any game designer or player, it's useful to understand the kind of game elements that perform different jobs in the game loop. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go unlock some more booster packs and duel links. Don't give me that look. I can stop whenever I want to, goddammit. <laughs> 